Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to class. Good day, everybody. We're gonna give it just a minute, let people get in the classroom, then we'll get started talking about activating our blowtorch and hitting our turbo button. We'll talk about faith it till you make it. I love that statement. You know, for years, I would, uh, you know, again, I've shared this so many times. I'm sorry, I'll share it again. You know, I was 300 pounds, I wanted to be 200 pounds. And it took me a while to realize that in order to be 200 pounds, I couldn't eat like a 300 pound man. I had to start eating like a 200 pound man while I was still a 300 pound man. And then that, you know, I am, I am 200 pounds. And it just happens, it manifests. You start believing that, you start eating that way. And uh, one of the things I said for years, I never liked the statement, you gotta fake it till you make it. Tell the truth in advance, but I like this new this new state, this new mantra of mine better. Faith it till you make it, because that's what it really is. Having faith in yourself, having faith in God, having faith the, uh, in the people around you, that's what it's about. That's what this world is lacking, faith. And look, I don't want to be like one of those televangelists that get in trouble for being con artists. I don't want to be that way, so uh, I, I guess I will. I will put it this way, right? You know, they're always saying name it, claim it, and all this stuff, and they're telling us uh, when when the Lord's coming back, and 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 how God's not pleased. Look, one of the things that I know for sure is God wasn't. Ple- I can't come and tell you God's not pleased with you like these televangelists do. God's not pleased with this or that. Well, you can, Travis. You know, you read your Bible, you see all the. Well, I even interpret my Bible different than most, so I can't tell you God's not pleased with you. But listen, I can tell you that God was not pleased with me. He told me so. How did he tell you so, Travis? The Word of God. The Word says, listen, it's impossible to please God without what, everyone? We'll get to introductions in a minute. Bible's real plain. It's in, there you go, Anisha. It's impossible to please God. Does it say that if you if you messed up today that, that God's not pleased with you? You don't really find that. Yeah, a lifestyle of sin, he's not pleased with. But I mean, we're human. We're human. In fact, he says that our weakness is our glory, but he doesn't want us to stay there and grovel in it. He wants us to get up when we fall down. But what you will find is God is not pleased with anything but faith. So God was not particularly pleased with me and still isn't sometimes when I'm not exhibiting faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I have to know, I have to know what I hope for, what I want, and I have to believe even when there's not evidence, I can achieve it if I work for it. Just work for it, y'all. The work actually has already been done. It's been done in Christ, which makes us want to work. The grace of God makes us want to do better. And and that's the light switch that come on for me. You know, when life gets confusing and I've got too many demands on myself, whether it be trying to lose weight or trying to help a customer or whatever it is, I just go back to this. You know, family isn't pleased with you. You got to fall back on this. I've got one obligation today to reset myself. Just one thing to recenter myself. Faith in Jesus. That's it. Faith. It's all about faith, everybody. Hey, my name's Travis Martin. I've lost more than 100. That's right, Jack. Love. Amen. I've lost over 100 pounds on the program. Come off all prescription medications. It's been the privilege of my lifetime. You may have seen me post. We have surpassed our original goal of helping 42,000 people earn their fast track battles, 42,000. God sowed that in my heart. That's a biblical number. And we have all together, let's just take a minute and bless the name of the Lord. Let's take a minute. God has helped us as a Shibola family slay 42,000 Ephraim, I mean, uh, (laughs) diet devils, diet devils. We have gotten rid of those diet devils and those diet demons. The clutches of that wily one is coming off of the people of God as we take back control, as we 
decide that we're no longer going to be enslaved by food addiction. What a great day it is to surpass that number that was sowed in our hearts. I actually started teaching this in 2003, and it wasn't until 2013 that Shibboleth was introduced, and Sasha and I decided that would be our first goal, 42,000 Fast Track badges earned. I'm so proud of everybody. Thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord at all times. So this is our Q&A session. Uh, just quick recognition. We won't be here but for about 20 more minutes. So get those questions ready. I have to abruptly leave at 1130 for a phone call so that I can be back in time for our exclusive partner class. Today at 1230 p.m., we'll be hosting our exclusive partner class, How to Combat Loose Skin While You're Losing Weight. Last week, it was on cholesterol. First partner class is always free, uh, but it's our way of thanking our partners for coming alongside of us and making a way for us to, to keep this great ministry alive. Total amount lost over the last seven days by our members, 1,795 pounds. Isn't that awesome? 1,795 pounds, congratulations. Thank you to our new partner, Lynn Gilbert. Thank you so much, Lynn. I hope to see you in some of the partner classes. If you can't come, we do record those and put them in your partner dashboard. 10 pound badge earners, got quite a few. Jenny Lahr, Lindsey Herrera, Marilyn Freeman, Sharon Allen, Brittany Holt, Jennifer Barr, uh, Jenny Templeton, congratulations. 25 pound badge earner, Teresa Ray Reyes. Reyes, sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, and a 10% shirt earner, Stacy Chambers, 21 perfect days in a row, Julia Haas, and the hot badge. She's hot. Karen DeBusk got the hot badge. Congratulations, everybody. Great job. Fantastic job. We will get into QA now. I've seen some questions pop up. Let me look for it. Sarah, Sally, can you explain how approved bread is a category two and say a green bean is a category two? I don't know what to say when someone asks why is bread in the same category two vegetable. It's not. So there's this, it is a separate category. It's a sub category. You may find it say it says category two, but that's not how I teach it. I teach there are category two vegetables and category two breads. There are also category three breads. So let's go way back. I use a lot of hyperbole to get people's attention. I use a lot of parables. I, I use a lot of stuff like that to get people to listen. So when I first started the program, I didn't know what to eat. I was lost. I had many health problems. I needed to fix those health problems. I went to studying and I decided I would not put one bite in my mouth if I did not know how it broke down inside of me and what chemical reactions took place when I consumed it. So I love peanut butter sandwiches. I started with my staples, and I looked at a peanut butter sandwich. Budget-friendly, something I need to carry to work with me. How am I going to get by without my peanut butter sandwiches? So I looked, how do they break down inside of my body? And I was starting to understand that protein and fiber would neutralize insulin, would control insulin. So when I looked at peanut butter, it was mostly fat. Breaks down into fat lipids. Uh, but the good thing about fat, in the absence of carbohydrate, and if you're in a calorie deficit, those fat lipids dissipate as heat and get used as energy rather than getting stored on your bootie and on your love handles. So I said, that's great, but I don't want to just eat peanut butter by itself for a meal. I want my bread. So uh, I wrote down some formulas. I went to the grocery store, and back in the day, some of y'all will remember, there were only two bread products that were available to us that fit my formula. It was Nature's Own Double Fiber Wheat Bread, and it was um, the uh, La Tortilla, Tortilla. then later come the Olay Wellness. But th that was all that I had. So I said, wait a minute, is this bread going to be nasty? It fits my formula, but let me put peanut butter with it, see if it still tastes like a peanut butter sandwich. Begin with the end in mind. How's it going to break down? Well, the breakdown is going to be great because this bread has enough protein and fiber to neutralize the starch in the bread. But I bet it tastes bad, right? So I eat it and it tastes just like my regular peanut butter sandwich. It tastes just like the white bread. Why did the bread the quicker you did? 
tastes just like my sunbeam bread and my peanut butter. But with the sunbeam bread, you're getting a, a blood sugar elevation. The fat bus comes, the fat bus grabs the fat and the peanut butter, and, and it's readily available for storage and you store it, especially if you're not in a calorie deficit. So couldn't do that anymore. So I start having this bread, peanut butter, some sugar-free jelly. I'm getting no blood sugar rise, no significant blood sugar rise, very little insulin response to that, and I can stay in efficient fat burning. So the way I taught myself was through uh, examples and, and, and hyperbole. So the thing about it was I wasn't really, if I begin with the end in mind, I wasn't really eating peanut butter and bread because the bread that I'm now eating it's not a green bean, but it breaks down more like a green bean inside of your body than it does a white bread. So in other words, how it breaks down, not what's in it, not what's in it. It's just a teaching mechanism I use. There's no green beans in our bread, but it's how I taught it. So in my mind, it's like, okay, when I eat this bread, it tastes like bread but the chemical reactions associated with this bread are more like the chemical reactions a green bean would create than that of a white bread. So I started telling people, I wasn't teaching a program back then. They said, how are you losing all that weight? And I said, I'm eating peanut butter and green beans. And that's how that comes. I look at life differently through, you know, I've been through a lot of wellness classes, wellness coaching, and I have my way of interpreting that stuff. And it's just like when I tell people in class, when people say it's so hard to lose weight. See, I, I can't go there with you. I cannot do that with you. That will send me back to 300 pounds. That is what I call for me, not talking to you. That's what I call for me, stinking thinking. That makes me quit on myself. So I just same thing, green beans, bread. So I go, it's not hard, it's easy, it's easy because losing weight is more easy than it is hard. So these are behavior, there's no green beans in the breads that I promote. These are ways to look at life. These are behavioral modification techniques that you use mentally. Just like that, when people say it's so hard to lose weight, I'm like, you know, it's hard not to. It's harder to stay where you're at than it is to go on and do what you need to do to lose the weight. It's hard carrying around hundred pounds extra every day. That's hard, it's hard taking medications. It's hard feeling bad about yourself. It's a lot easier just to do what you need to do and get it done. So since we don't, as people, we don't talk right. No, no, hardly anybody here talks right. Like uh, how many posts can I go find today where people say, I'm discouraged, I haven't lost any weight. I hit a plateau. And then you go look at their journal and you find out they've lost 77 pounds in four months. They didn't say that. They're talking about what today, just today, they didn't lose weight. Or the last week, they didn't lose weight. They never stopped to go, but that's okay. I've already lost 70. How you talk to yourself and how you think will cause you to do the right thing. So if I'm thinking, hey, this bread breaks down more like a green bean than it does a traditional white bread, I'm more apt to use that bread. That's where that comes from. I will send a notification to the to, to partners uh, before the partner class. Everyone's invited to one class. Uh, you know, we're trying, and we'll eventually stop that. We're trying to let people know that we do have partner classes now, but we're gonna honor our partners and folks that wanna check it out, they can only check it out once and they have to become a partner or, or go away. <laughs> we want to honor our partners because if it weren't for you all, Patricia, we wouldn't have the program. Can someone help me reset my password? Kathy, yes. Joni or Tammy can help you with that. All right, any, anyone else, any other questions? Before we go today, we got about 15 more minutes and I got to get on a call. And uh, it's what, you know, we're, we're a small little family. We, we spend a lot of plates, so we don't want to leave you stranded. I got to leave at roughly at 11.30 and then I'll have partner class at 12.30.
Hey, Stevie. Um, if Tammy is listening, she can get you the partner registration link for today's class. We, we take on a new topic uh, each and every week, well, three weeks a month. I have to take one week. That's when I schedule my traveling and running around. So uh, got a lot going on. <laughs> three, three weeks a month, we'll do three partner class, 36 partner classes a year that are a deep dive worth thousands of dollars, but you don't have to pay thousands. Someone asked me on the challenge that the bread was hurting their tummy. Can they do a lettuce wrap sandwich? Yes, and, and we did cover that. I know everybody can't be in every class, just, just letting you know that yes, they can. And anyone that asked about their sandwich being with lettuce and, and not bread, you know I'm all about that. Lettuce over bread every day of the week. What do you do if you feel lightheaded and no energy one day? Well, I have to tell you to go see your physician. You know, that I got to start there, right? So typically that lightheadedness is coming from uh, your blood sugar being out of whack. If you have abruptly joined this program, and uh, you've started going all in. See, I don't know, Leanne, there's so much to unpack there. I would suggest a mentor appointment uh, and a doctor appointment, but it's normal. If, if you're just getting started and uh, your body is carb adapted, meaning that your body requires carbohydrate as fuel because you have been doing that for so long, mainly eating carbohydrate and or processed food, and then you go to a whole food program. Now, all of a sudden, you're not having pre-digested foods. You're having real food that your body has to break down. And these foods are combined in such a way that it helps lower blood sugar. So you're lowering your blood sugar. Your body's not fat adapted yet. And there's a little pushback from your body. You've got to be real careful with this, especially if you're a diabetic, because no one's, no one's ever taught you. And they probably never will. Food combinations, if done right and in the right portion, are powerful. So if you're on top of that, taking some sort of uh, diabetic medications, it's like you're taking a pharmaceutical drug and having powerful food combinations that are just bottoming out your blood sugar. So we got to move into this thing slow. If you, as you continue forward, if you don't throw up your hands and quit and you keep sticking with the right food combinations, then your body will become more fat adapted and it won't give you all this pushback and bottom out your blood, blood sugar. Your body is able through its liver to find the glucose that it needs to keep this from happening. But right now your body's probably uh, mostly carb adapted and you're not giving yourself as many carbohydrate. So that blood sugar is bottoming out some on you. That's just a guess because I don't know without looking at the specifics of what you've been consuming. Also, if you're one to have a couple of perfect days and a holiday, a couple of perfect days and a holiday, a couple of perfect days and a holiday, and you're never never in the beginning having six, seven, eight, nine, ten straight perfect days, you're going to have these yo-yo feelings with your blood sugar. You're beginning to eat right if you're following my program. You're beginning to eat in the right macronutrient combinations and we need to give your metabolism time to become more fat adapted rather than sugar glucose adapted. Uh, if you do have low blood sugar, instead of blowing it or giving up, one of the things you can do that won't take you too far out of fat burning is have Advocare rehydrate about the time during the day you normally experience low blood sugar, drink you a serving of Advocare rehydrate that will assist greatly or have a serving of bile coffee. It has tap, tapioca starch in it. That will hurt, help greatly. Or have a cup of berries. That will help greatly. Those are some examples of what you can do while your body's becoming more fat adapted. Kathy, I will send out another text right before the class at 1230. Uh, Penny, I'm going to let Tammy or Joni help you find the partner videos.
Is it two slices or three slices of Sargento thin cheese on the challenge? It's two or less of Sargento. It's two up to four of fat-free cheese. Thanks, Julie. Thanks for being a good assist. I want an egg sandwich today instead of grilled cheese. I don't have egg beaters. Is it one or two boiled eggs? A meal would be two boiled eggs and a snack would be one boiled egg. Uh, the partner program is just that. It's a donation-based program, a, a pledge kind of program. Everybody does. We don't want people signing up to be a partner unless the Lord has led them to be a real, real part of our family and to help us save lives. In other words, you, you really care about Shibboleth. We don't want it for the money's sake. So the, whatever the Lord leads you to do, based upon what you're able to do, anywhere from $5 and up, we have partners that, that have donated 100 a month, and we have partners that have donated $5 a month. It's up to you. There's not a price on the material. It's priceless. We're saving lives. So it's just up to what the Lord has led you to do and based upon your ability to do it as we go forward. Uh, with these ministry type prices, we have to find alternative means to keep our support team, to keep the website up, to keep the app up. And uh, we do that with the help of partners. $5 anywhere uh, up, depending on your ability to pay. Yeah, Michelle, we're working on that. We're, we're trying to open our wellness clinic. Uh, bear with us and Sasha and I will definitely uh, do more for our partners where we share with you on a day to day what we do. We're, we're getting there. We, we're, we, we actually uh, just were uh, uh, it's probably the wrong word evicted. Sasha and I, we've been up against it. It's been a couple of years of the devil attacking. We're trying to open a wellness center and then our landlord just notifies we got to get out. So we've had to scurry around and find, or we're going to be homeless with no, <laughs> no, well, at least we could sleep in the office now. We didn't even have that before. But bear with us. We're doing the very best we can to provide more and more and more. Thanks for asking. Is there any way to consider on the website choosing what type of day you will have for future days so that you can see them? on your timing chart to plan your holiday. Is there any way to consider on the website choosing what type of day you have for future days so that you can see them on your timing chart? Ugh, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I'll have to really think about that. I think I see what you're saying. You want to plan it out and then try to live up to the plan. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's a, it's a worthwhile thought. It's definitely a worthwhile thought, but it would be so far on my priority list just simply because I pay the guy by the hour. And right now, he's probably got 100 things that needs to be fixed on that website. So it might be a while before I could consider that one, but keep the ideas coming. Yeah, even the Sargento is two slices. That's a category four cheese. Sargento makes no category one cheese. They also have cheese that's not allowed. So you're, you're using the Sargento thin or reduced fat and only two slices. Thanks everybody. I see the kind comments, thank you. I've been marking my journal IMF. Should I change that to a perfect day? I, I wouldn't know how to answer that. Only you know if you're having the 12 hour fast if you're talking about the challenge, that would be a fine way to mark that. You, because you're, you're eating from the challenge list, which is perfect, and you're getting a 12-hour fast. An intermittent fasting day is slightly a better, more extreme day than a regular perfect day. So as long as you're getting your 12 hours, you, you can mark it IMF. That's just a better, perfect day. So we have the perfect day, and then we ramp up from there. And the more we ramp up, the more we're hitting our turbo button, right? So you have the perfect day, then you have the IMF day, which is a 12 hour fast with all the variety. Then when we go from there, we go to Tiger 16, Tiger 24, Tiger 36, Lion and Shark. 
So the higher up that chart we go, the more we're hitting our turbo button. If you are mixing the Sargento and fat-free cheese on a sandwich, how many total slices? You have to treat it like it's Sargento, only two slices. Kimberly made the uh, decision to do one Sargento and two fat-free. I'm not going to fuss at you for that. There's hardly any calories in the fat-free. Nalida, good to have you back. Thank you, Sharon. How do you find your fat from calories when using the food, cal uh, the food calculator? Very simple. It will say on the nutrition label, it will say calories from fat on the nutrition label. If it does not, if it does not say uh, calories from fat, then the way to do that on the nutrition label, it'll say fat grams. If it doesn't say calories from fat, it will say fat grams. And then let's say it has seven grams of fat. There are nine calories of fat in every gram. So if it says there are seven grams of fat, that means there are 63 calories from fat. That's how we do that. There's nine calories in a gram of fat. Yeah, Julie, you have no idea. <laughs> it's been two years of beautiful growth for the Martin family. And we did, we were on time with our rent. No one get any bright ideas. He just, the property values have went so high. He either wanted us to buy it and we couldn't swing that. Or he, want, he wants to turn it into an Airbnb so he can get $1,000 a week. And we can't do that. So uh, we, in effect, are evicted. And we've been scrambling to find a place. And it was right after we got the center, or I would be headed home to Kennesaw, but we had already inked the deal for the center here. So uh, anyway, that's just life and God is ordering our steps and it's all gonna turn out beautifully. Travis's spaghetti, um, if it's a negative two or negative three recipe, I don't recall uh, and I'm running out of time or Karen, I'd go check it for you. If it's a negative two or negative three recipe, you can use Travis spaghetti. If it's negative one, I would avoid it. Partner class today. Thank you, Tammy. I had to push it off to 1230 because of a meeting that I could not put off. 1230 today. Thank you, Lisa. You wouldn't put up with me for long because all day long, girl, I am yelling at my computer. It's so it's so bad. Our neighbor loves us now, but when I first moved in here, he would come knock on my door. He thought that Sasha didn't even live here. She was still in Georgia. And I would be screaming at all y'all having fun. And he would he knocked on the door one time. He thought there was abuse going on because I had my window open. He could hear me yelling at people. So I appreciate that. Y'all would kick me out in less than two days. But it's the thought that counted. I am reading all these sweet comments. Thank y'all. Anna, I don't believe in resetting it. You know, there is a feature where, you know, we try to meet people where they are. There is a feature where you can reset and, and wipe it out and like start over clean in your journal and in your weekly timing chart. I used to like that. I don't anymore. I think that the scars are uh, the scars of life build character, build character, and are beautiful. It's just like once upon a time, I was like, I wish I could blot out my past failings. But now, as I look back on them and see how far God's brought me and changed me to be a more disciplined person, etc., I'm so glad I still have that. So. I see it. you can do it, but I don't recommend it. I, 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 I know it hurts to see our past failings, but it's not. Your weakness is your glory in Christ. So that's an opportunity to look back one day and see, 
you weren't you weren't walking in step with the Holy Spirit and you you were weak, but as you turn more back to God and then you see the journey and how God's helping you and changing, I wouldn't take anything from my past failures. I don't want to go through anymore, even though I know I will, but I love having that to remind me of how far I've I've come. Just up to you. That's just an adult decision for you to make based upon how you feel that you best operate uh, psychology wise. Thanks, Lisa. God bless y'all for becoming a partner. Negative two would work, Lindsay. Um, so Travis Spaghetti would work. Just make sure you portion control it in your up to two cup bowl or your six to eight inch plate. Yes, I will text the partner link out. Thank you, Janice. I've missed you, Janice. Do you know how many appointments I have missed because you're not here? Thanks, Janice. I'm out of here, y'all. I got to go. Thank you so much. We'll see you again tomorrow at 11. If you want to check out our partner class, 1230. And then we'll do something special tonight around the 7, 8-ish hour for our challengers. God bless you all. See you soon.